Hi, my name is Becca and I'm here on behalf of the Post Center for Health Education in Raleigh, North Carolina. And so in the midst of the COVID-19 epidemic, I know mental health has been on the forefront of many people's minds. And so we'll be going through some simple lessons on how to maximize your mental health during this situation and hopefully give you some practical things that you can do that will both benefit yourselves, your families, and your community. Yes, again today, we'll talk about stress. One reason why I love to talk about this topic is because we learn about ourselves more during a stressful situation than probably any other time. Have you ever noticed you can go through the same stressful situation and one day you take it in stride, it feels like no big deal, you feel good about yourself. And another day, take that same stressful situation and you get upset and really angry and it can dismantle your day. Take for instance, you're working on a difficult math problem. Maybe one day you're in a pretty good mood when you start your homework and that problem might be difficult, but it's no big deal. You just keep trying until you get it right. Another day you could take that same difficult math problem and maybe you're already in not such a great mood and not being able to get that problem right just makes you angrier. You might crumple your paper, throw it, break a pencil. Or maybe your friend teases you one morning that your clothes don't match and you just laugh it off and say, I just woke up late, it's no big deal. And then another day, that same friend could tease you that your clothes don't match and you snap at them and you might overreact for the situation when your friend really wasn't trying to be that mean. So what's the difference? The stressor is the same in both situations, but your reaction is much different. That's when we really have to examine how we feel and how our feelings are impacting our reactions. One way we can examine our overreactions to stress is by using the HALT method, H-A-L-T. And the HALT method allows us to really look at how we're feeling and notice if um, there's a way that we can satisfy those feelings and needs to better react to stress. Okay, so the H in HALT stands for hungry and the A stands for angry. The L stands for lonely and the T stands for tired. So when we're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, we tend to overreact to stress in a negative way. And if we notice that we are hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, take a step back from that stressor, try to satisfy that need, and then when you go back into that same stressful situation, you'll be able to think with a clearer head. So the first one's probably obvious, hungry. If you're hungry, you need to eat. Sometimes when we get so wrapped up in a situation, we forget to eat and our body's saying, hey, I need some fuel. And so eating would satisfy that hunger. Now, I believe hangry is a, re a real thing. So that merges hungry and angry together. So if we're angry, sometimes it's because we're hungry. Other times we've just gotten so angry at ourselves or maybe someone else that we need to take a step back. And a good way to do that is by using breathing exercises or maybe taking a walk, anything that's safe that can help you to calm down. And you take as much time as you need to do that until you can re-enter that situation in a calm way. The L stands for lonely. Now, in order to satisfy that need, we need to connect with other people. So maybe that's texting a friend or giving them a phone call. If we don't have uh, another human we can talk to, our pets can also satisfy that need as well. And then T is for tired. And so what we might need to do is get a good night's sleep or take a nap. We've all had that experience where we didn't get a good night's sleep and we don't feel so great in the morning. And we might notice we're not as nice to other people. We can't think as clearly. So don't underestimate the power of sleep. And so when you notice that you might be overreacting in a negative way to a stressful situation, remember to halt and ask yourself, am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? 
and take a step back, satisfy that need, and then hopefully when you go back into that stressor, you can do so with a clear mind. Together, let's work on the A part of HALT, anger. We're going to do this by walking through a breathing exercise together. There really is something to taking a step back when you feel yourself getting frustrated, taking a deep breath to get your mind engaged and thinking more clearly and calmly. So for the breathing exercise, you can sit in a chair or if you'd like, you can lie back. If you're seated in a chair, we're gonna bring our feet flat to the floor so that way we can sit up a bit taller. And just bring the hands lightly to the lap. And so we'll practice together sinking breath. And all that means is that your exhale will last a bit longer than your inhale. So just at first, notice your breath as it is right now. And then slowly, we'll start to lengthen out our exhales. Now that's something you might be able to do just by feeling the sensation in the body, feeling the shorter inhale, and then the longer exhale. Or if it helps to count, you might count in for four and let the exhale be five or six counts. And on your long exhale, we feel the sinking sensation in the body, almost as everything melts back into place after the lift of your inhale. And you can practice sinking breath as long as you need to. And then when you're ready, we'll start to bring our awareness back to the space around us. And hopefully we feel a bit calmer, a bit more centered. So just taking some time to notice why you're reacting to stress in a certain manner can help us learn a little bit more about ourselves and possibly change some habits. We hope you enjoyed this mini lesson. The Poe Center for Health Education now has online programs available. We've converted some of our most popular programs to an online format. We promise the same great content, same enthusiastic staff, and engaging activities, all that make the Poe experience so valuable, unique, and effective. To book a program, please visit our website or call us today.